Hi everyone, it's Brent Waller. I'm the environment artist at Five Life Studios, and we thought we'd show you some of the tech we've been playing with lately. Um, a friend of ours we used to work with called Bruno Rhyme has his own studio called Photon Workshop, and they, he develops um, shaders and post effects for Unity as, as well as heaps of other services. But he's allowed us to get a sneak preview build of his latest post effect, which is a screen space real time reflection post effect. So basically what that means is it's a bit difficult to see in this little test scene we've got here where I am now. But here we have all the videos playing in the background, you have a real-time reflection. Most games you'll see reflections in, apart from newer games like the CryEngine and things like that, will have a screen capture or a cube map for a reflection. And that's kind of a fake way of doing it, whereas this is we're actually getting a true reflection off of surfaces. What that does is it allows for a more sort of a mathematically and physically correct way of lighting environments. So instead of faking things with the material properties and shaders, you instead the light behaves more mathemat mathematically correct to what it should in the real world, so you get more realistic results. Probably a bit difficult to see from this camera point of view, but let me just go into free cam. You can see it's a test level. Lots of floaty stuff everywhere. When you get down low here and have a look at it, you can see really nice reflections off of those surfaces, it's all getting diffused depending on how wet or uh, rough the surfaces are. So with this post effect, the cost of making anything reflective is a one-off cost, so regardless of how many things are reflecting in your scene, it's the same cost as if you're just having one object in the scene, because it's all done on the, all done based on the resolution of the screen. So you can see the roads reflective there, we've got all these signs in the background there on the road getting reflected, we've got the hood of the car, they're getting reflected, and even the less wet spots of the ground here in front of you are getting reflected but they're not quite as shiny as the ones behind it. I've only been playing around with this post effect for probably about a day total but as you can see the results already speak for themselves so you can imagine what we can do with more time with it. Um, as for performance let me just switch back to the in-game view. It's I've got a fairly modest system, I've got a i5 2500, it's probably about two years old with a, a GTX 5600 Ti and I get a good, let me just bring up the stats here. Like I'm getting 40 frames there at full screen in the editor, which the editor is always slower than in a final build. So you can imagine with a fairly modest system you'll get decent performance out of this. As I said earlier, this is just a work in progress, but the post effects current features include specular reflections, glossy reflections, Fresnel reflections, Approximate secondary bounce specular reflections, global cube map fallback for infinite and off-screen reflections, light conservation, customized ray marching and diffusion patterning system. On top of those that already exist, he's already working on a system for integrated global illumination for real-time radiosity, um, integrated ambient occlusion, surface continuity prediction and scene continuity analysis for improved performance and higher quality, as well as metallic reflections. Also a big shout out and a thank you to the ex guys who sent us copies of the Syndicate FPS. Uh, we weren't able to get it in Australia because it's been banned so don't tell anyone we've got it, but thanks for that guys. So there you go, I hope you guys enjoyed taking a look at what we've been playing with and uh, see you on the Backers Only Forum.